Awamakyam. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and Shalom to the sincere Akim, spreading his truth and sincerity. Shalom. In this video, I want to talk about understanding the season that you are being put in by the Heavenly Father, man. And this is going to be a video in which, you know, I'm not having prepared any scriptures beforehand because first and foremost, this is going to be a uh, basically a write and talk, but also on the other on the other spectrum, you know, we understand that seasons in the scriptures, you know, for instance, in Matthew chapter 16. That they could know the time and the season that they was in by looking, you know, towards, you know, the uh, basically towards the heaven, you know, which that is referring to the time that we are in, you know, concerning prophecy and things like that. But in this video, you know, I want to talk about the season in a sense of. What are you going through and what does the Heavenly Father want you to be refined in? You know, um, if I believe it is Isaiah chapter 48 verse 10, you know, here already comes the first scripture. Um, it says that, um, that we are chosen in the furnace of, um, what is it, of affliction, you know, and that we are through that, through those afflictions, we are refined, man, and what was it? Mm, I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday, you know, I had a um, practice exam in which, you know, once I was done and I went my way home, which was about a drive of an hour and a half, two hours, you know, I got on the phone with the brother from GMS Germany, you know, and at a certain moment in time, you know, we was discussing you know about what season are you in right now you know the season that you're in right now basically you know the the time that you um basically spend in your waking life man it's not that easy it's like, like it's not that hard to understand what that season means right it's basically the time period that you're in going through certain things you know which is a certain phase you know, before you move on to the next, you know? And I asked him the question, you know, about, hey, what, 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 if you really think about it, you know, the season that you're in right now, you know, what is the Heavenly Father trying to learn and teach you, man? And, of course, you know, that is something personal to him, which I'm not gonna discuss. But, when I look at the situation myself, what I need to learn right now myself, is to be more temperate, man, and you know, I made a video about it as well recently, which goes into having soft control over emotions, actions, and desires that you have. Because if you don't be temperate in these things, you're gonna make decisions that might, you know, be able to affect that which you're trying to reach. You know, you're trying to reach a goal, right? You know, and the goal that we first and foremost have is to receive salvation which the scriptures talk about how to receive that salvation and that, you know, through the faith that we have, you know, we should also put in the work, you know? And part of the work that we put in is self-development according to the scriptures, you know? Self-development according to the scriptures because we have, for instance, Yahweh Shai as an example of how he walked upon the earth we also have Apostle Paul as an example of how he walked on the earth. We have the scriptures in Titus and Peter's, you know, where it talks about this, if he that desires the office of a bishop, you know, the type of qualities that this individual should have. You know, and not to say that, you know, you should really desire, you know, that position or anything, but it is something to strive towards. You know, so it is very important to really sit down, you know, and think about the 
afflictions, the trials, the tribulations that we go through. You know, why does the Heavenly Father make us grow us like a goat to these specific things? And what part of us does He want to develop, grow, or basically cut off? You know? Because the Heavenly Father, you know, like the scripture says, speak it once, yet twice, yet man perceiveth it not. So, all around us, there are instances where the Heavenly Father is really, you know, trying to, through the Spirit, you know, show us something that we should, you know, be doing, developing, not doing. And these are things that we, you know, nine out of ten times can only understand and listen to if we, you know, be basically be silent, man. You know, really sit down, reflect and meditate, you know, upon what is going on in our lives. You see? And right now I'm in a phase in my life in which I'm, you know, gaining more and more responsibilities. But by gaining all these responsibilities, the Heavenly Father is making sure that I'm able to deal with the responsibilities. And part of that is being tempered, being, a soft, being, being able to have self-control over your emotions, desires, and actions, man. Right? Because you cannot always do that which the flesh desires to do. You see? Because you're going to make wrong choices. That's why, and I also mentioned it in a video recently, that's why a man is supposed to be the leader in the house because he rules his house basically with intellect. You know, not with no emotions, with logic. And oftentimes, when we act out upon the flesh, we make wrong decisions. You know, and this recently was displayed, you know, by a brother that wanted to do the right thing, but his flesh, you know, was being tempted, you know, by Satan, you know, which caused him to react in a certain way you know, being very hasty, you know, that eventually, you know, basically backfired as well, you know, and what we should really be looking out for is if we want to have more uh, self-control concerning emotions, you know, is trying to make decisions when you're not angry, when you're not uh, basically affected by these emotions, but, but just be calm at peace and then make the right decisions, you know, based upon all the information that you have. For instance, another example that I'm dealing with right now, you know, this company, they wanted to hire me as a handyman which is a startup company, but they make a lot of money right now because their type of business is booming because they provide temporary uh, sleeping accommodation slash housing. But I myself, you know, I get quite vexed and irritated when things are not planned accordingly. So yesterday, as I was working for them, they wanted me to, um, to do a couple of things with the electricity. They wanted me to uh, put a couple of letters on the wall, you know, with some high tech, and a couple of other things they wanted me to basically fix and put up. You know, one of them was a curtain rail, which. I had to have conversations, you know, leading up to the job with three different individuals. One, basically the, the two, I say that, uh, basically the two co-owners. One of them I had a conversation with, or basically like 12 days ago, 
literally 12 days ago, I asked him, hey, you know, I, I overheard that, you know, you had a couple of jobs for me. Uh, you need to plan them uh, uh, two weeks in advance in order for me to uh, uh, find a place in my schedule. He did not respond at all. And this other guy got in contact with me. And he assigned me to this other guy. Basically, it is uh, just his labor for them. You know, this employee. Employer. Employee. Employee. And then the day before I had to come there, he asked me, hey, who's going to fix up the materials? Do you do it? Or do we do it? Then I told him, hey, you know, ever from the start, y'all want to have all the materials uh, uh, fixed by yourselves. So, then he said, yeah, you know, can you basically talk to the other co-owner because I have to go to Austria, you know, put up the, you know, put up the tents for, uh, for the Formula One. So, I get in contact with the co-owner. And he, he he requests of me the list with materials that he can get. So I give it to him. He said, yeah, you can also just get it yourself. Tomorrow we're going to give you our pass. You know, basically the, the bank pass, the bank card. So all these things are adding up, right? But this is not my first time experiencing this. So I'd be like, okay, Phuket. I come there, first thing that needed to be done in the morning was basically put this uh, um, this socket so I put the socket you know so that they can put the Wi-Fi router can plug it in so I put it but I tell them hey I need to have the, the box in order for the cables to connect because I need to cut the cable there and then to connect them in the box and then basically make a some sort of cable joint, you know, and um, I do that, finish about, you know, 11 o'clock with that, started at 9, but I had to wait, there's then the third, not really clear what everything, uh, what else needed to be done, so I come there at the, uh, basically the, the main office, and he tells me what needs to be done. You know, the letters need to be put there, which is like six six meters up. I say, yeah, well, basically this, um, I don't know how to say it, has to be fixed. So yeah, yeah, I can do that. You know, we can, we can get that. First, I'm going to talk to this woman. You know, basically, uh, one, 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 one a female that works for me, I'm going to talk to her for an hour. And then afterwards, you know, we can get it. So I see what I need to get uh, fixed up to basically uh, make another uh, socket, you know, uh, basically to put the plug. The thing can be plugged in in, in the wall, right? So, yeah, you know, this box needs to be changed because the one that's already here, you know, can't be used. So I go there, get the pass, fix it myself. Okay. Then I come back, I fix the thing, but I also be like, you know what? I don't really want to deal with this, you know, uh, half planned, half ass work. Which to me, you know, I'm not really getting, uh, I say that, uh, affected by it yet, you know, to that point, because I want to basically uh, prevent that from happening. So then they asked me to put the curtain rails. So yeah, I have to see because it might be that, that I need the special screws that tap themselves into the metal. Come there. They have this glass house within their office made out of metal construction. I said, yeah, you know, that needs to be done. I said, okay, okay. And then I tell them, yeah, I ain't going to do that today. So everything half asked. So at the end, I tell them, hey, you know, the, uh, the preparation is not good. You know, it's, it's kind of irritating me. And he says, yeah, actually, you know, the other guy should, should do this, you know, the, the other co-owner. And, uh, you know, better if I can just uh, uh, let you come, you know, when everything is, uh, is fixed up. But then I have, and it's not the first time, because it happens constantly like this. People not asking, 
or people not uh, 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 talking or reacting, you know, things being vague, you know, things can be planned. Normally when I tell them, hey, two weeks in advance, I need to know something. And then they ask me, yeah, can, can you, uh, do you have time next week? I'd be like, didn't, didn't I just, you know, I'm only thinking like, didn't I just tell you like, hey, two weeks in advance at least. So, all the things adding up, you know, I'm already meditating about basically, you know, calling it quits with them, man. You know, and in a calm and collective manner, you know, addressing the situation, you know, and dealing with it uh, accordingly, man. Because if you get more responsibilities being a business owner, you know, you you then need to deal with things being more temperate, man. Having more self-control instead of flipping out and talking crap about how everything is being done with them. You know, what you then just do is you, 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 you line up the facts, man. You know, and you present them with, 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 with what you found and why it is not matching the way that you basically work. You know, and by doing that, you, know, you can, in a, in a very good and controlled manner, you can basically set boundaries and tell them, like, hey, like this, I ain't going to put the work. You know, I, I ain't going to do no work for y'all. You know, that is something that was on my mind to do, man, because it really is in my spirit to just call it quits for them. Yeah, you know, I can make a little bit of, little bit of money, but all the headache that comes with it, you know, things not being planned out, you know, half-assed, you know, that's not, the, um, you know, how things should be done, you know, so... Look at the season that you're in, or basically look at the the, the uh, what, what basically the season of your life that you're in. What is the heavenly father trying to teach you? You know, and and also the conversation that I had, you know, with um with the brother from Germany was like, okay, so if you don't know what you're actually being put in by the heavenly father, how do you then expect you know to learn and grow from it? You know, because as long as it's going to be something that is unconscious, you know, you're not aware of what is actually happening, you're going to constantly repeat the same situation and repeat the same mistakes. You see? And that is something that, you know, you don't want to have, man. You should avoid that because you are looking for growth. You know, you're looking for growth, man, especially in this truth. Because even the scripture says that. You know, that day by day, you know, we should be uh, becoming a new man. You know, and I'm roughly paraphrasing and butchering the scripture. But it goes into um, that we should not be conformed to the world. You know? And that we should step aside, a step away from the worldly mindset and mannerism. And really be conformed to the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and apply it in our life, man. You know, and in that way, you know, we are more growing towards becoming just like Yahweh Shai, you know, becoming, you know, like that bishop, you know, becoming like Apostle Paul, you know, who were man, let me say it like this, Apostle Paul was a man, you know, he was an individual that was set up by the Heavenly Father, you know, to give us an example of how to, how to, how we ought to walk in the truth, man, and Yahweh Shai, of course, is the prime example. But we understand that Yahweh was perfect in all his ways, man. Which that is something that is for us not to be obtained, you know, but by the mercy and grace of the Heavenly Father, you know, who made us perfect through the Lord Yahweh who takes away our sins. But scripture also says that even our righteousness is as filthy rags because we're still going to make mistakes and transgress. But that's where Yahweh you know, basically chimes in. You see? And as long as we have that grace and mercy, you know, we have the, the, the ability, <coughs> you know, to sit down, you know, and meditate about, you know, the times and seasons that we are in in our personal life, you know, we're also, while also, of course, looking at the times and seasons that we're in, uh, of prophecy, prophecy-wise and scriptural-wise, you know, so that we day by day be, can be conformed to that perfect man. You know, so if you're unaware of what you're actually being put in and why you're being put in the situation, hey, 
they ain't gonna repeat the same stupid mistakes and you ain't gonna get nowhere man because by the time that you learn the lesson that's the that's the moment that the heavenly father is gonna basically level you up man you're gonna be put forth in the next level and the next level is the situation where you want to be in you know so with that i do hope and pray that this video was edifying and with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Titron Ruwell, and Shalawam to the sincere Akyam, Spanish truth and sincerity. Shalawam.